Hello, Johnny Jenkins here from Peak Performance Fishing to help you pick the right crankbait when the weather starts getting cold. You know, one of the things in bass fishing is, is the fact that we're chasing green fish. We're chasing little fish, and they can do whatever they want when they want, okay? We literally have to go search and destroy them, and we need tools that, uh, that can help us do that. Different lures, techniques, different colors, different ways to trick these fish, because it's not, not necessarily easy all the time. And one of the really great things in bass fishing is when you start fishing a lot, and you, you can kind of figure out what baits are good and when, and what types you need for different situations and different depths and different times of year and different different water colors and water temperatures and stuff like that, okay? And that's what we're going to get into. When the weather gets cold, you want to have a, a specific type of crankbait. When it gets really cold, I'm talking when the water temperature, and it's not necessarily about the air temperature, okay? You can have 60 degree water temperature and have 30 degree air temperature okay it's going to affect those fish and you might want a similar type of crankbait what we're going to talk about but what i'm really talking about is when the weather gets cold and it's been cold and it affects the water temperature that's what i'm talking about cold water temperatures okay and and it affects these fish or and, it, and this one also can be applied to uh post frontal fish when the fishing is really tough fish that are pressured and see a lot of lures in colder weather, I want a crankbait, a hard bait lure that has flat sides. You see this bait? It's real flat, real narrow type bait. Okay, I put it next to this one. Look at this. Looks like a turkey, man. This thing is real fat and real wide, okay? Versus this one. See, how the, see the difference? See how much thicker this one is versus this one right here? This is the one you want with this flat side. It's going to have a real subtle action. It's just going to be like this. It's just going to be a through the water. It's just going to move real gently. It's not going to push as, as much water. It's going to be real gentle. Okay. Um, this one right here, when it goes through the water, it's going to be just like this. It's just, it's just rooting around and it's making a whole bunch of commotion. Okay. When the fish are lethargic and they're kind of, uh, they don't have much of a metabolism they're 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 cold they don't want to move far you need something that moves slow and something that has a little bit more subtle action to it this little thing is just going to x straight back to you this thing is going to be a big wide gob of, pla of plastic going through here it's actually wood i think i think this is wood yeah wood wood crankbait so i like wooden crankbaits too that's another thing to mention with this i like wooden crankbaits uh that time of the year um you can also have suspending ones too suspending baits where you can fish a little bit slower and it's not going to float back up where the, the ones that float those are really good in the summer when the fish are really active and you pause the bait and then it floats back up you pause it it floats back up a good suspending bait is really good in the winter or when it's really really cold water temperatures and you you have that bait you slow it down and it's not going to float back up you slow it down or you stop it it's not gonna float back up it's gonna go it'll sit there it'll just sit there it'll go up maybe a little bit and then you get it get it going back so that's the deal but those flat sided crankbaits with the subtle actions generally a little bit smaller crankbaits um, and stuff like that it's gonna definitely be the ticket when the water gets cold this has been Johnny Jenkins from Peak Performance Fishing I hope you found this video informative